One person was reported dead in Ifugao due to a landslide triggered by heavy rains brought by Typhoon Henry. The male victim is 37 years old. Initial investigation disclosed that the victim went to his brother's house to secure his motorcycle but decided to stay due to heavy rains. Unfortunately, a landslide struck in the area that buried the said house and trapped the victim inside. Meanwhile, the NDRRMC does not expect major damage to infrastructure from Typhoon Henry's fringe winds and rain, but it could be destructive when it comes to the agricultural sector. According to NDRRMC Deputy Spokesperson, Assistant Secretary Rafi Alejandro IV, it is because the eye of the storm is far from the landmass of the country. But the NDRRMC is still monitoring Batanes, which is closest to the circulation of the storm and the municipality of Santa Ana in Cagayan. Yung mga nasa high risk uh, zones, la, uh, itong mga identified na barangays na ito, ay dapat uh, uh, gumalaw na, no? uh, mag-observe and uh, of course uh, implement its uh, preparedness measures para maiwasan po ang, uh, ang uh, casualty or uh, uh, disgrace po. Alejandro assured that they are prepared for the possible effects of the storm in the next few hours. No places have implemented forced evacuation due to the typhoon. So ready po kami to augment uh, itong mga LGUs na nangangailangan. So we are, yung buong konseho ng NDRIMC ay uh, naka-blue alert at lahat ng response sa uh, agencies natin na uh, halos naka-red na, no? Uh, standby to move at any given, given notice po. Meanwhile, as part of the preparedness effort of DSWD, their quick response teams or QRT remain on alert. Based on the department's latest data, standby funds for disaster relief operations are 1.5 billion pesos. More than 500,000 family food packs have been prepositioned in strategic locations including non-food items worth 424 million pesos. In addition, the DSWD has another 600 million pesos standby fund from their central office. Ryan Lee for The Nation.